Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Yes, guys, you heard right. This is the one of the best ROM available for Poco X3 as of now and the two Android version 13 and 5th February 2023 is the security patch and the kernel user is 4.14.290 Thunderbolt kernel has been used. I can rate this entire setup uh, as high as 4.5 out of 5 because this is as good as a smooth and tall rom that much has been improved from past couple of months you can see pixel os surya 13 2023 to 14th i mean february 14th build it is and i have been running cpu throttling test and some of the results you can see here i'll show you within a while that before that this is the app drawer you get and this is a typical app drawer and this is a typical quick settings panel you get as you can see in the edit section you get plenty of options like location add it here and even dark theme drag it you can see how smooth the interface is i haven't seen such a smooth interface from a couple of months now it's very very smooth entire ui is very smooth i think after a couple of months we got a very good android 13 rom and that too very simple rom this is you know you won't get any customizations also here someone who are looking for that kind of rom then guys you will love this rom once you flash this rom and see you will come to know why i am saying like this it's an as smooth as uh, any android 12 based roms previously what we are seeing like cherry so is i you guys know it i want to say something like that you can understand once you flash the rom it's very very smooth as you can see just in the quick settings panel we miss the uh, automatic brightness toggle but uh, what i heard and what i seen is most of the android 13 and even in pixel devices also this toggle will be not available it seems is it correct or not i don't know but it would have been there but anyhow apart from that i can say it's a very very smoothest from here i will show you the android benchmark result straight away you can see the app opening time there is a small jitter also in this ui while opening the app while swiping the app multitasking everywhere i found really really smooth here 1.5 degree celsius is the temperature raise and uh, it is showing temperature decrease here is it i don't know and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing is it really temperature has been dropped 1.5 degree celsius i don't know but it is really good guys it's a good sign and 361000 is a excellent score for poco x3 if you believe in app uh, results then it's fine but even in the day-to-day -day performance also it's really good and even i try to show you the bgm also stay tuned guys and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button guys it's been long time you are watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button guys and also allow that bell notification and if you like the video go ahead and give it a like i will be appreciated a lot and i will get motivated a lot in order to make similar kind of videos and camera applications use this yes you will be disappointed a bit i can say not a lot because in the evolution x uh, some of the previous versions we got a next camera support and you people were enjoying that if that camera was present in this pixel os i would have said this is an number one rom available for poco x3 that's the only thing people uh, waiting for that's not happened here it's a very good rom just you can use this gcam port yes i do understand those new camera features are very essential for some of them but if you want to use as a simple user for camera and some add-ons features using gcam then it's a very good ram i can say and there information you can see there is no jitter while opening any app here as you can see level one certification it's not a problem you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and safety net status what it is it will be get passed yes you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use use it as a daily driver just go and use it as a daily driver you will understand how smooth the user interface wise and you can see how smooth even the quick settings if you just swipe from here even if you touch the app as you can see it's very very smooth no lag whatsoever i tried to use it for a couple of hours now 
hence i am uh, showing this and even dialer you can see here properly integrated everything as you can see direct video call feature is there again press here you will get recording feature here but it announced the other person that is quite okay i don't have much of complaint here and google maps is also working fine now moving into settings you can see network internet connection devices apps you know again default apps assistant unused apps app battery usage and special app access you get plenty of options here go ahead and use it out battery again the battery life is uh, going to be awesome here i don't say it's as good as arrow is a spark OS, but you are paying for the performance then you should compromise for a little bit of battery life here i don't say it's like draining heavily but it's quite balanced rom i can say and sound and vibration you can notice here i try to test many roms guys i quickly notice how smooth the ui is hence i am saying this words if you don't mind it go and flash and check it out you will come back and say yes this rom is very smooth that's the thing you guys try it out why you don't believe me then i don't bother because i want to give you best and best i try to find out this rom actually because it released now what i can do isn't it and you can see me sound enhancer you get basic sound settings here additional settings also has been given and vibration and haptics let me show you that vibration and haptics you get these kind of options here integrate into i mean intensity has been given here everywhere no patterns has been given here and the security features again accessibility menu is also given you guys know it if you watch my videos regularly without actually using the physical buttons you can optimize them and security features you get the face and fingerprint unlock let me show you the face and fingerprint unlock first i will show the face unlock just open it it's get unlocked as you can see again the face unlock as you can see now the fingerprint unlock you guys can see here it is also quick and the wobbling effect is still present it is quite visible now compared to previous versions and moving into this Geekbench results, you can see 735 is the single score here and multi score is 1755. And kernel, as I said before, Linux 4.14.290 Thunderbird Bolt kernel has been used. I think it's a very good kernel here. And even some of the other benchmark results are something. Yeah, the CPU throttling test, which I have to show you in the beginning. Anyhow, here you can see the maximum is 190 and uh, average is 160. Minimum is 122 million JPS and it throttled to 78% of its max performance. Go back and see all the previous 10 videos. And this is a 103rd test, guys. And see all the other 10 videos. There will be hardly any green line like this it will be almost yellow and red only maximum after certain period of time but here i noticed everything is i can say its percentage is more compared to other arms if you consider seeing the cpu throttling test results here also it is very good in my opinion the rom is very good it's not throttling that much i can say compared to all previous 10 videos you can check out this is as good as any of the and at all stable roms that's the good sign of using this rom and one more thing you want this what is that the charging speeds yes you will get charging rapidly using this smartphone you can charge your smartphone using this 33 watt charger you can charge it out what else you need you have everything here safety net status getting passed benchmark results are good safety throttling test is good and camera application yes okay it's not me a camera you are getting here gcam port you can install any of your choice that's fine and quick settings everywhere it is fine why are you still waiting go and flash this rom it's as smooth as and at all stable roms now the time has been came to make android 13 as stable as what all the previous versions as i said before that's how it is and this all the wallpapers you get and basic colors also i haven't faced any single jitter or uh, whatever i said and the flashing method is also very important guys because i used 13.0.4 eea firmware that also plays a very important role because people use some other firmware to get macro camera working whatever it is but my intention is to your smartphone should not die because of flashing rom or anything else 
flashing rom will not make smartphone die but some of the versions of update for poco x3 made the camera dead options and so, sorry camera dead feel like that hardware level problems and even speakers not working that i don't expect my subscribers need to experience the same hence i kept away some of the firmwares because that particular update or the version of firmware made problems for several users i know it because i used using this device from couple of years now i'll research it for yourself that's how guys believe in my videos and flash the same firmware you will never face any problems that's my conclusion in this video yeah bgm let's see that and we'll wind up this video is this is tdm and you can see the graphics set to smooth plus ultra air i will make it this only hd high is not uh, interested for me at least i need high fps rather than high graphics if it has both i still prefer uh, fps only because smoothness will be present finally i found a very interesting rom here after a couple of days as you can see with 40 fps it's uh, making this much just imagine what if it had 90 fps isn't it there is something magic in the way maybe the kernel i don't know i think i need some ammo here Okay. Hello guys, I have only 40 FPS, not 60 FPS or 90 like you. <laughs> isn't it guys? <laughs> Those who have advantage they can make more kills, isn't it? Even mobile internet connection plays very important role. I have Wi-Fi connection, but yes, some of them will also have very good uh, network connection around their area. they will get very good benefits i do know all together you can play very well you also should have knowledge about the game i mean you can arrange these uh, uh, whatever controls according to your taste i mean whichever easy and use more and more fingers it will be even easy to get more kills and gyroscope players have little bit advantage those things you need to make it out guys this how the gameplay here i hope i don't want to quit this game but anyhow it's smooth guys even with 40 fps i can able to make very good response in the way as you can see the response in the way is very good and this all the recent apps if you scroll slowly it will go very slowly no jitters if you scroll fastly it will go fastly only is it a good rom or not let you people decide guys i have done my job here if you like the video give it a like and show this how good the rom is have a definitely you should try this rom then if you still feel it's a bad rom then it's up to you but i felt really happy after several days we found a very good rom if you know how to enable 90 fps i think this is a gaming rom also i should keep that title let's see what title i will keep for this video that's it guys if you like the video give it a like and subscribe to my channel you get similar kind of videos regarding popex and some other tech related videos also do watch my other videos too and support me thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video at that keep smiling bye bye for now